Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today we'll be talking about all of the Halo Infinite Season 5 leaks and a bit beyond that. Now before we begin, I do want to say, take everything here with a grain of salt, as things are always subject to change. I do want to give a shout out to Serazio, Delta Index, and Sick Gen, who were the ones that went ahead and leaked a ton of this info that I'm about to show you guys. Let's begin with the name of the new season, which is going to be called Season 5 Reckoning. Now the name of this new season almost pretty much 100 or 9 I would say 99% confirms that firefight should be coming sometime along this season but we'll dive more into that later. So with a new season of course we're going to get some new menu backgrounds and maybe a few UI changes. This time around for the multiplayer menu our Spartan appears to be just hanging out in a forest. Not only that but it seems like you no longer have to go to a different sub menu. You see your challenges now you can take a quick glimpse. Another change is the fact that you can now apparently favor a playlist, making it easier to jump into games. This had people, this did have people thinking it was some kind of like new match composer system that was coming into Infinite, just like MCC's composer system. But unfortunately, it, it just seems to be uh, some kind of like favorite system, just so it makes it easier to jump into the playlist you play the most. At least according to uh, Delta Index. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at the maps that may be coming in Season 5. The first one being an arena map called Prism. This map seems to take place in some sort of Blamite, in some sort of Blamite cave. This is where they mine the crystals for the Needler and I believe it takes place on like a moon or something. And it's like the only place you can get this crystal. Just a bit of lore on that. But anyways, on to the next map we got Forbidden, which seems much like the map Forest in Season 4, at least aesthetically. We also got two new Forge canvases, one called Permafrost, which has a bunch of snow. So now people will be able to make maybe like winter themed maps or Christmas themed maps, which is definitely great because, you know, Christmas is around the corner. So I hope we do see some good use out of that canvas once we get it. And the other canvas we got is Barrage, which honestly just looks like what reach was when it got obliterated by the covenant it looks like some kind of like deadlands there's like not much life to it you can make a you could probably make a good reach map on there so those are the maps that may be coming in season five now let's take a look at some of the new potential sandbox items coming to season five or a bit beyond Anyways, the first one being a double barrel shotgun with a mini gravity hammer attached to it. This was leaked a bit ago back in like season 3 and people figured we'd get it in season 4. Yeah, who knows, we could get it in season 6, maybe season 5. Um, if we're getting like a new sandbox item, I feel like that's the best bet. Unless they completely sh surprise us with like a completely new weapon. From what I've seen, it seems like they want to introduce like one new sandbox, at least one new sandbox item every season is the way it seems like they're heading. But yeah, we do have some gameplay of it. It, and it seems to function closer to the OG shotgun where it's essentially almost a instant kill up close. Of course the most unique part is the little gravity hammer part that, it's, that is attached to it. It's like a bayonet kind of. Pretty cool. So moving on to the next thing, it seems like we might actually get a new vehicle which is otherwise known as a Falcon. We've seen it in Reach and I would consider it a fan favorite vehicle. A lot of people did like that vehicle in Reach and it was just really cool because it was honestly just a flying warthog is the best way to describe it. It was like an actual vehicle that takes like a team effort and those vehicles are always fun. Now this got leaked way back and I remember remember leakers saying that it could come in season 5 or 6 and here we are um so it may be coming in season 5 at least according to Serezio he says the falcon for season 5 and the enforcer shotgun which is a mutilator the one we were taking a look at earlier for season 6 which I honestly forgot to even mention the name but yeah that shotgun is called the Mut mutilator quite a mouthful there but uh yeah it seems like we may be in the falcon in season five um which would definitely be great because i'd love to see a new vehicle added to the sandbox we haven't gotten that yet of course there is some gameplay on it i even made a video on it a way back i think it was a long time ago where i ended up doing like an asmr video essentially um you know i had my reasons then but i don't know if you'd want to watch it but if you want to see more about it uh, yeah, it's a pretty scuffed video, but anyways, now let's move on to the next thing, which is another weapon, which isn't really a brand new weapon, but a variant of the Bandit Rifle, which is called Bandit Evo. This could probably function like the campaign variants of like other guns, just like that. Although it's funny saying that because, you know, the Bandit's not in the campaign, but so you get a sense of, you know, how it would work. It's going to be like one of those variants, I would assume. Maybe it could be the Bandit Rifle with a scope. Maybe we'll finally get a scope on it and it could be like the original DMR because I know a lot of people wanted like the actual DMR with the scope and all that. Next up, we got a new repair field equipment. Now the release date for this equipment is currently unknown, but the repair field seems 
so far seems to function like the regenerator in Halo 3 or the regen field in Halo 4, which whenever you would use these uh, equipment in 3 or 4, it would put out like a radius that heals you when your shields are down. So yeah, this doesn't have a date, although if it did come season 5, I think that'd be the best time it could come out because assuming we do get firefight with season 5, I mean, come on, it would literally work so well because it's a, it's a healing field. You could use it between waves or during waves, you know, heal your team up while you're fighting the enemies. Like, it's a perfect addition. It would it would pair so well with Firefight. But yeah, it's currently unknown when that's going to come out, but it seems to be in the works. So we may see it sometime in the future. And yeah, I think it'd be a great equipment. So we also got another equipment called the Stasis Field, which shoots out a black hole, pulling everything within. I could see this equipment being effective to stop someone from capping a flag or stopping a vehicle assuming it works on vehicles as well like if someone has like the oddball or something you could just pin them down you know shoot the black hole and just keep them in place um it could be really well like taking out objectives and stuff it could be used really effectively there i wonder if they're gonna add it into ranked if it does come to infinite um because yeah that thing would be really really op you could stop people flag capping and stuff like that it'd be really good i mean the shroud screen was in ranked so i wouldn't be surprised if they added that so that's about all the sandbox stuff we know that may come in season five or beyond now let's take a look at the new customization options coming to season five and well unfortunately well we don't really have much we'll probably see more as we get closer to launch all we know so far is that we're getting some kind of unique new armor core that has nothing to do with spartans coming out in season six some people have been speculating that it could be a robot core that may look something like the concept art made by 343 but who knows only time will tell moving on the new game modes we may begin in season 5 are assault and extraction which i would consider both of these to be legacy modes we've seen them before although extraction may work a little differently since there's a pve version of it although it does seem like we're gonna get the pvp version of it first i'm um, an assault yeah we've seen it before there's actually an assault bomb currently in forge right now that you could mess around with some guy did make a like fan made assault mode that actually works pretty well i never got to try it but i've seen footage of it and yeah i'm assuming if we already have the assault ball in infinite right now then you know it would only make sense we probably will be seeing that in season five at launch or something and maybe extraction will come out later so that's about all the modes we know so far that may come in season five of course there's also firefight that seems to be almost 100 percent confirmed essentially that it probably will be coming in season five sometime and yeah that's what we're gonna talk about because there's quite a lot to talk about in firefight there's a good amount that has been leaked so earlier on when i was talking about season five being called reckoning well it seems like firefight might actually take place in the house of reckoning which was a section in the campaign where you funny enough Enough, fought waves of enemies so this seems to be the only firefight map we'll be getting although i think it's fine as later on people will just create their own experiences or even maps with the campaign ai the settings for firefight did get leaked so we can get an idea of what you can modify not only that but it seems like there will be a revive feature which is nice so just like an elimination or attrition where you would drop those glowing orbs that has your ai in it um it seems like that's going to be dropping whenever you die or something and you could probably revive your like teammates and stuff so some of the wave definitions got leaked. So here we're able to see what enemies will be appearing on Firefight and what their group name is. I will only be highlighting some as there's quite a lot, but either way, you'll be able to pause the video if you'd like to see all of them. Starting off with the easy wave, we got the classic grunts and jackals or the more intriguing ones like mercenaries and loyalists, which according to Serezio, the mercenary is an elite mercenary and a jackal freebooter. And the loyalist is a skimmer converted to banish. So I'm assuming it's like the skimmer, except Red, I guess, which is definitely interesting. And he also comes along with a brute miner. Moving on to the medium waves, we got jackal snipers, elite zealots, plus more. On to the hard waves, we got turret chieftains, which you do fight in the campaign. I think it's those two giant brutes that had like the scrap cannons. It was like a mini boss, it was pretty cool. And we also got berserker kill teams and more. And finally, for the boss wave, we got chieftain duo, which I'm assuming is maybe the the duo you fought maybe it could be the scrap cannon ones as well or maybe this is the scrap cannon ones and then the turret chieftains were just like regular chieftains or something i don't know take it for what you will but we also got an elite assassin team and hunters plus several more other stuff so some of the firefight wave names were also leaked now these do sound like they're part of some sort of special wave or maybe it's just like a boss wave anyways here are some of the names we got we got brute hammer bros craig's mixtape which is pretty funny and a few more so not only that but it seems like we also got some skulls returning they seem to be, they seem to be making their return which i would definitely expect because firefight i think had to do with 
a lot with skulls. It's like the only way it would really get more difficult. Um, so it's good to see that they definitely are planning to have skulls with uh, Firefight. So moving on from Firefight, we also got the settings and forge nodes leaked for the campaign AI. So these are like the nodes and stuff that you see. So you can modify how the AI reacts and stuff like that. And we also got the AI settings, which has some more options to it. I think the node graph is more in depth, but you know, you got like the, the generic uh, just AI settings. With that being said, that's everything we know about season five so far. But let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. Hopefully we get more info on customization later down the line. But anyways, peace.